make a rift through the skies on flowery beds of ease. While others fought to win the prize and sailed through bloody seas. And when the battle's over, we shall wear a crown. We shall wear a crown. We shall wear a crown. And when the battle's over, we shall wear a crown in the new Jerusalem. Impossible. 
He does the things others cannot do. God is the same, and His word is dependable. He will make a way through the waters for you. Life situations by Him are amendable. Mountains and hills, He will part for you too. God and the rivers you think are uncrossable. Got any mountains you can't tunnel through. God specializes in things thought impossible. He does the things others cannot. sing this morning from SSNS 675 and the title is uh, the chorus says marching on marching on so be ready because we are going to be victorious today Amen. let's sing verses 1 2 and 4 of this hymn 1 2 4 <laughs>
707. 707. Let's sing one, two, and three. One, two, and three.
we remain standing with our eyes closed, Brother Ansika will come forward and lead us in congregation at some. Amen. Hallowed be your name, O God. Amen. Our gracious and our most heavenly Father, we bless the holy name. Amen. We thank you, O God Almighty, for a day like this. Where you will make a way for someone here. Where the battles of life will be won by you. You said it's not by power. It is not by might. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against powers. Against the rulers of darkness. Against the works of the enemies. That seems to have ruined our lives. But oh Lord we bless you. For a time like this. For a day like this. Where you have declared. It is finished. There will be no more conflict. Those things that has battled our lives. And as it were we have surrendered to them. Today we surrender them to you. Lord, we thank you because you have never, never lost a battle. For if you have lost a battle, then we wouldn't be having people bearing Daniel. But you are the God of Daniel. And today we want to join that Daniel's band. We want to try you and prove you. Oh Lord, give us the grace. Oh Lord, give us the grace. We hand over your servant yes, into your mighty hand Amen. that as you will empower him Amen. and your word today Amen. that that grace, oh Lord, Amen. will identify us Amen. at our point of need. Amen. We know as our faces differ, yes. so are the situations, oh, yes. so are the battles, oh, yes. but you are God beautiful for every situation. Yes. And oh Lord, tonight, today, even this morning, Amen. Lord, before the noon, Lord, manifest yourself. Amen. Manifest your power. Amen. Reveal yourself. Amen. That as you're blessing us here, the blessings will go with us. Amen. And we shall testify Amen. of you Amen. that you are the Lord that changes things. Amen. Those things that man has said it. They are impossible. Lord, with you, all things are possible. We want to try you today. Bless your word this day. Make us a blessing. In Jesus' name. Okay, we continue with our service by listening to an anthem of the first special from the choir, Wonderful Savior, at the end of which we're going to have the Bible reading, which will come from the book of Psalms. 62, reading from verse 1 through to 10, and then the last special, which is a duet, a few vowed, a vow, and then we have the word of exhortation. I don't know whether you've seen this magazine. Some of us have read this online. Some of us perhaps have just seen it for the first time. It's the Apostolic Faith magazine that comes on quarterly. The one for this quarter, the hard copy has gotten to us, so we have this for you to take and read. And of course, share with other people too. You can take more than one copy to share with other people too. You will come across some wonderful uh, word of God and things that can enrich your soul. Part of the um, um, contribution that we have in this edition, this current edition, is a teaching given by one of our pastors here at our jurisdiction on um, Christian fellowship. You will enjoy that as well as other materials there. The World Report is also focusing on the work of Western Europe in this magazine. Um, that is focusing on our work in this part of the world. You can as well enjoy uh, that reading and, um, of course, take copies to share with your um, neighbors as well as with your acquaintances. God bless you.
soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. Amen. He only is my rock yes. and my salvation. Amen. He is my defense. Amen. I shall not be greatly moved. Amen. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as the bowing well shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. The only console to cast him down from his excellency. The delight in lies. They blaze with their mouth, but they curse inwardly, inwardly. My soul, wait thou only upon God, Amen. for my expectation is from him. Amen. He only is my rock yeah. and my salvation. Mm -hmm. He is my defense. Yeah. I shall not be moved. Amen. In God is my salvation Amen. and my glory, Amen. the rock of my strength, Amen. and my refuge is in God. Amen. Trust in Him all the time, all times. Amen. Trust in Him at all times. Amen. Ye people who have your heart before Him, Amen. God is a refuge for us. Amen. Surely, men of low degree are vanity. And men of high degree are a lie. 
to be laid in the balance. They are altogether lighter than vanity. Ten and the last. Trust not in, in operation and become not vain in robbery. If riches increases, set not your heart upon them.
returning to our Bible text that we have together, the book of Psalm 62. We have read up to verse 10. I want to read verse 11 of that same Psalm. 62, 11. God has spoken once. Amen. Twice have I heard this. Amen. And that is what? Amen. A power belongeth unto God. Amen. Power to deliver. Yes. Power to save. Yes. Power to rescue. Yes. Belongs only. Yes. Only. Yes. Only. To the Lord God Almighty. Amen. May He visit us. Amen. May He visit you. Amen. May He visit me Amen. in our different situations today Amen. with that great power. Amen. When you have this power in your life, you don't need any other power. It is sufficient, yeah. effective, yeah. efficient, yeah. super, yeah. hyperactive, yeah. never fails. Yeah. We're talking about the power that belongs to God. Yes. The power that comes only from God. Amen. You know, life is a battlefield yes. for saints and sinners. Yes. You, you, you don't need to, you don't need any degree to be told. Once you reach the age of accountability, that life is a battlefield. Yes. And it is important for you and I to start thinking to answer for ourselves, which power are you using on this battlefield of life? There's going to be opposition inside and outside, both for sinners and saints. So my recommendation to you today is to let us tap into that power Amen. that only belongs unto God. Amen. You wonder why God's children are not afraid. By the special grace of God, do you know what? I am not afraid. Amen. I have no fear Amen. of anybody Amen. by the grace of God. Amen. That doesn't mean that a man cannot do anything to me with God's permission. Men can, if God permits. But do you know what? That, that, is, not, that is still a, a small power. Irrespective of what man may do to you, may do to me, it is still a small power. We have one to whom all power belongs unto. That is the power that you need. You wonder, how do we tap into that power? The beginning, the foundation of that power is to have power above sin. Have power over sin. Power to go and sin no more which we all get at the point of genuine repentance, when we have new heart, new spirit, then you can have a measure of that power, and then from there on, you have another measure, you have another measure, you have another measure, until you are filled with that power. And we are talking about power that belongs only to God. I repeat, if you have this power in your life, you don't need any other thing. Yes, you may be harassed, truly. You may be threatened, you may be persecuted, you may be confronted, you may be tried, but be sure of one thing, that with God's power in your life, you will have complete victory. Yeah. Whosoever, whatsoever, whatever that thing is, that wants to fight against you as a true child of God, be rest assured. Yeah. Be rest assured. Amen. It may look like the other side is winning. It's only looking like that. Amen. Complete victory Amen. belongs to you. Amen. And I pray that the Lord will give you and I Amen. the patience, Amen. the faithfulness Amen. to just stand at our post Amen. and say, there I will die. Amen. I will remain at my post. Amen. And the Lord will meet us there. Remember the difference in the battle? between the children of Israel and the people of Ai that we just studied, when they relied on their power, what happened? Completely, complete failure. When they changed power, what happened? 
a complete victory. Amen. That is what the power of God can do Amen. in our lives. Amen. Which power is ruling your life? I think it is important that you and I give that question a honest answer. Which power? Because you don't get this power through ingenuity. You don't get it. You don't get this power through uh, how, how stout God has made you to be. You don't get this power through um, academic um, um, uh, performance. You get this power only through the only one that has it. Through the Spirit of God. This power that will always come down and give complete victory. God will fight all our battles. Amen. God will not just only fight as we have uh, uh, sung together in that song, he will finish it. Amen. We will have a a testimony that we say that truly the battle is finished. Amen. God can finish our battles. Amen. The problem that we have is that we start well, we, we, we start in a good footing, and we fail to continue. But today, we want to pray a prayer. It is called SSS prayer. The prayer of Joshua. Amen. Son, stand still prayers. Amen. We can pray that prayer. Amen. You know, since um, the person that conducted us on Friday said the same thing in terms of as if I, I, I've read my Bible before, but this story looked very new, very, it's like, wh wh what on earth is this? Something great. For man to say to God, Something that God has put in place, normally, the solar system working normally, and for one to face God and say, no, God, I need more daylight. I need more daylight. Therefore, son, don't move. Moon, and for God in heaven, that is a great challenge. It has challenged me to the core, to let me even examine, am I really a Christian? Um, I know you are, you, are always, you are always praying for me. God bless you. I pray for you too. I told some of my ministers this morning, and my wife at home this morning, we are contemplating, because I was in pain throughout the night and since yesterday. And I told my wife, you know what? I'm on the road to preach this morning. Who will I call now to go and preach? Well, my wife is not a regular preacher. She said, if you phone now and you tell any of them, they will use the time of the Sunday school to go and prepare. And I was wondering, no, oh, sermon doesn't come like that. But of course, if God should have taken me home this morning, this service will still go on. Yes. You will still hear the word of God. Yes. So truly, what she said can be true. There are times you'll be on the platform, they tap you, they say, you are preaching. It has happened to me before. And you cannot say, oh, no, I'm preaching. I didn't prepare. There's nothing like that. You have, you have to quickly breathe prayer. Anyway, I told my wife, be praying for me. I will manage. Immediately I got to the church, I called two of my lieutenants here. I said, be ready. If I can't get up, that service must continue. Amen. One of you must be ready to step up. You better just be praying that God let him get up. God let him get up. Because if I don't get up, the person who came to read the Bible uh, text, I said, you are stopping at 10. Be ready when you sit down and I fail to get up, go and continue from where you stopped. Amen. But there is power. Yes. I meant it. Yes. I honestly meant it. Yes. I meant it. Yes. I am not in pain now. Yes. And it's like, how will I get up? How will I manage? Where the pain has gone, I don't know. There is power. I tell you, I, I, I'm telling you what just happened to me, even just now, before I got up there. There is power. I was telling God, I said, I don't want to go and preach theory. Hallelujah. I, I told God, I said, I don't want to go and preach theory. This man says, son, stand still. Yes. Can't you tell Pile Payne, stop? Yes. 
You can tell this pile pain, stop. This is a, I told my wife this morning, I said, you know, when she was looking after me in the night, it's like, you know, there are some pains that are killer pain. I call them killer pain. She laughed when I said that. I said, I know what I mean. I said, the one that is on me now is not killer. It's not killing. This one right now. The one before, last night, it was killer. Now, it's not killer one. It is still there, but it's not a killer pain. Whether killer pain, whether softer pain, whichever pain it is, there is power. And that's why I tell you every time, honestly speaking, I fear nobody. There's nothing anybody can do to me. By the special grace of God, as God's children, that has the power of God that comes from Him in your life, you are free. Amen. The, I'm talking of the power that belongs to God. Yes. In the country I came from, they have different kind of powers. They have the one that we put here. They have the one when we were young, we bleed. It has to be 21. And then with one black thing, rub on it. It has the, some may be here. Some they will put it um, at the waist. Those are no powers. No. They will fail. Yes. They have known to be failed. Yes. But the power of God yes. will never fail. Yes. Power belongs to God. Yes. And if you want complete victory, tap into that power. Yes. The problem is that many people rely on their own power. Your power cannot fight this battle. Your power cannot take you anywhere. Since you have been struggling, trying to prove your point, trying to say you are this and you are that, what progress? What, what battle have you been able to win in your life? May God help us to surrender. Yeah. And say, God, have your way. God, please take my life and let it be. Yeah. During the course of the week, I had the opportunity to attend um, a postgraduate um, graduation ceremony. Um, of someone who invited uh, Stella and I of one of these prestigious universities um, in London. As we were there, and um, they were calling out the students one by one to come and shake the hand of the um, uh, chancellor and the vice chancellor and all those big people with all those um, robes. I sat down there at Royal Albert Hall, and I was thinking, I was like that. I remember when I had to go on the podium about two times, and I have to go and get that kind of handshake. And as I sat down there, I was thinking, these are the people that have made it. Many people started. In fact, I used to be a lecturer before I became a pastor. And I have many tutees that are assigned to me. And when you're talking to them in terms of you can make it, you can complete. One student that I can never forget came to me one time and said, you know what? This is not for me. I'm pulling out. I tried everything as a tutor to encourage him to stay on the course, to make sure that you will make it. No, 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 no. Nah, you know young people? This particular one, nah, nah, not for me. And this and that. He will not be on the podium that day. He came to the university all right. He was admitted all right. He got in all right. He started all right. It was in the middle of everything that he found out that he cannot continue. But for this Christian race, you and I, we have started. We will complete. We are going to finish it. Whatever the enemy will do, don't listen to the enemy. He will harass you. He will threaten you. Who is he not harassing? Who is he not threatening? Even your Savior, my Savior, Jesus Christ, he did that to them. Yeah. So don't let us go into this mode. Self-pity mode. It's only me. Who tells you it's only you? You see, because you don't have a session or an activity that you say, let everybody now come and be saying their own. You will hear some, you will say, wow. In this same church, even that same man, even my own, my own, me. You say, eh? I thought your own is a... Uh, who told you that? We are all in the battlefield. Yes. And we are going to make it in Jesus' name. Yes. We have started and we are going to continue. Yes. Some, they continue to the brink. To, just to the brink of success. 
and then they withdraw. They turn back. They say, no, I'm not going to do this again. But not Joshua. Not Joshua. All hindrances must be dealt with. Yes. No matter the cost. The solar system, you, can you imagine the, the, we are told that this world, as the clock is ticking, is revolving. Yeah. It's moving. Yeah. It's moving. Yeah. And now, when now Joshua said, stop, you know that revolving stopped? Everything stopped. Not just for a minute. Not just for two hours. For 24 hours. Yes. Yes. A whole day. A man. To talk to God. All watches. All clocks. Everything stopped. You know, before this time, what should you even um, um, encourage us in that uh, lesson that we studied this morning, which is the focus of my uh, word of exhortation? Let's return to it. Joshua chapter 10. Joshua chapter 10, reading verse 10. It says, And the Lord discomfited them before Israel, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them along the way that went up to Beth Horon, and smote them to Azekah and unto Makeda. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, and were in the going down to Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. And there were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. When you have seen something like that, what will you do? It is enough. I'm happy. God has answered my prayers. Yeah. But you know what? With all this that the Lord has done, the main problem, the five kings, they were still alive. And Joshua knew very well, I need to get to the bottom of this. Leaving those five kings will mean that they will still raise their ugly heads. They will still bring something later. But if I can get to the root of it, so all this one that the Lord is doing, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. This is already a miracle. Yes. Hailstone from heaven. Yes. Somebody was contributing on Friday in our conference. Said that those hailstones as they were falling, you know they are not falling on the children of Israel. No. They were falling only on the enemies. Yeah. That was not enough a miracle. But Joshua said, uh uh, I'm not stopping here. It is not enough. It's not enough. This is not yet complete. You know, you too, you have had some deliverances till now. I have had some deliverances till now. But may God let you and I know that it's just the beginning. Amen. Take for example, by God's grace, we are in the church already. That is already a victory. Yes. You are sitting down. If God is uh, dealing with your heart and you are with me and we are on this word of exhortation together, that's already a victory. Yes. If your mind is also setting on when it is time to be at the altar, I will be there to pray. That's already a victory. Yes. But you know it's not yet complete. You are winning. Amen. May you win at the end. Amen. The winning, the completion, is when you pray and you can get hold of God that God did this for me. God answered me like this. Otherwise, you have only come here to play. You have only come here to, some people will be sleeping in church. And I say, you have a better bed to sleep on. Actually, this morning, I met um, one of our sisters here um, outside, and I said, what are you doing here? Walking up, and I said, I don't want to sleep. It was, she was just walking up and down. That is what you should do. Yeah. When you come to the house of God, the, and the enemy is saying, it's time for you to sleep. He doesn't want you to win. He wants everything to just go over you. You want to get up and do something about your sleep, sleeping, about your sleep, sleeping uh, mood, because you want that mood to turn off. You want it to be Awake mood. Am I right? Yes. So if you are listening, you are already on the winning side. Amen. When you come to the altar, you are already on the winning Amen. side. And until you pray through. And that is why I say that we are going to pray. It's going to be SSS prayers. Amen. Without SSS, there is no complete victory. God knows why. Okay, let's continue. In verse 11, as that, that um, we have before us. Verse 12, rather. Verse 12. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day. Listen to that verse of the scripture. 
In the day when the Lord delivered of the Amorites before the children of Israel. Uh -uh. The Lord has already delivered. May God give us that persistent spirit. Amen. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still. Amen. Sun stood still. Amen. And the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. And this is something that is kept on record. God agreed. God said, you want to do that? I will agree. You need more daylight? I will give it to you. Amen. In order to fight this battle and win, Amen. I will listen to you. Amen. I will do it for you. But something is very clear here. Joshua was very specific. Do you know that? There's a time to say, win this battle for me. There's a time you need to tell God exactly. What exactly you want God to do. It is true we should pray for victory. We should always pray for that. But if you want complete victory over a particular situation, tell that situation as it is. What I want you to do now, God, I know you have been giving us victories. I need more daylight. I need more daylight. I need more daylight. The only way to do that is for this son that I know will soon get to another part of its um, rotation to stop so that I can continue and go hard. Amen. I want to pray specific prayer. Actually, with my pain that I'm using as an example, I was actually using this and I was telling God, actually, before we came up, I was telling my colleague, I said, you know what? And Joshua said that someone stood still. I said, I've been telling this pain, stand still. And he's not doing it, but at God's own time. Amen. You just need to keep believing. Yeah. Just keep believing. Yeah. Have the faith. Why God takes his time, I don't know. Don't ask me. Pastor, why is it that when I pray, God did it, has not answered my prayer? I do, I, I'm in the same shoe with you. The one thing I know, he will answer. Amen. The Lord will answer your prayer. Amen. May you not turn back. Amen. May you not give up. Amen. May you not say, well, I think this is over. There's no way. This can be done. It shall be done. Amen. It can be done. Amen. So, for example, as a sinner, present here today, and you want Christ, you want to know God, you want salvation, you want to have power over sin, Acknowledge that you are a sinner. Confess your sins. Repent of your sins. Forsake and believe in your heart. Salvation will drop into your heart. Amen. That is something specific. Be very specific. Yeah. When you come to pray, it is true, God save me, God sanctify me, God baptize me, God keep me, God look after me. Those are good prayers. And we should pray them. But I'm talking of something specific that you know. Is confronting your life. Those are your own five kings. And you want to tell God that I must overcome. I must have complete victory. Your five kings are different from my five kings. Don't think you are the only one that has them. I have mine. Plenty. Maybe yours is even one-tenth of what I have. And you may just be assessing me with your uh, uh, normal uh, uh, mind in terms of, oh, it's good for him. It's okay for him. And as one man of God said, Yes, you are saying it's good for us. It shall continue to be good for us. But I can tell you that we are all on this battlefield. Yes. We are all in the same battle. We are fighting the same battle. Those at different times, on different things. But our God, to whom? Power. Yes. Belongs. He will fight our battle. Amen. God of Joshua. Amen. He will be our God. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Of course, as we are praying for salvation, you may have obstacles. Maybe some people will say that, it's my friend. When I'm saved, I don't want to be, how will I now be managing? God will look after that. Yes. Some people, if they don't talk of friend, they'll be talking of, well, there are other things. Um, I don't know how we deal with that. The power that you are talking about is the power that gives you complete victory Amen. over all those things that are causing issues for you. You are looking for sanctification. 
and you need to consecrate, just tell God. This word, somebody was praying for uh, um, sanctification. She believed. I remember the testimony. And she was telling God, satisfy me. Satisfy me. She wanted to say, sanctify me. And she was saying, satisfy me. But God, who reads the heart? She was praying for satisfaction, even though what she meant is sanctification. And God saw the heart. And God sanctified her and satisfied her. Because power belongs to God. He will do it. Oh God, I don't know how to consecrate. Maybe that word, they always say consecrate your life. What does it consecrate? What is the big word mean? God, I don't even know what it means. But I give you my life. I surrender everything to you. If you will sanctify me and remove the Adamic nature, the principle of sin, the tendency to want to do that thing that I've left behind, that is always worrying me, troubling me, if you will uproot it, I will save you all the days of my life. The Lord will answer your prayers. Yes. So you have more power. And then, you want to have Holy Ghost baptism. You say, tarry in prayer. You are wondering, how can my tongue change to be speaking another tongue? Don't worry with that. That is not yours to make up. God will do it. Amen. God has a way of doing it. Yes. And we do it right. Amen. All you need to do again here, you tarry in prayer, deeper consecration, you cling to his promises, and all the obstacles, they will still come. There will be obstacles. Every step of the way, there will be obstacles and hindrances in terms of things that will come along your way. But I can tell you that there is power Amen. when you say, search me, O God. Amen. God will come down. Amen. He will immerse you in that power. Amen. All things making you to come short of your blessing, of my blessing. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we command, like Joshua, son, Whatever they are, in Jesus' name, stand still. To stand still, what does it mean? Be silent. Be silent. Enough is enough. And they can be. They can be. As that son just said, stand still. Just like that, cannot rotate or move again. So will those things be. In the name of Jesus. To stand still means to cease, to stop. Is it prayerlessness? That is worrying some people today. Is it stand still? Amen. I want to keep praying now. Enough, you have deceived me so far. Is it laziness? Is it faithlessness? Too much ease? Carelessness? Pride of life? Worldliness? What do you do in such dark hours? Pray for sun to stand still. Amen. God, I need more daylight. Yeah. I need more victories. Amen. And the Lord will answer. Amen. All obstacles, we can say enough is enough. Yeah. A, a little word about this power, what Jesus Christ himself said about this power. Mark 28. Mark 28, 18 says, All power yes. is given unto me yeah. in heaven yeah. and in earth. Yeah. That is Jesus give you three scriptures. Mark 28, 18 says that. Then in Luke 10, 19, that power, yeah. Yeah. Jesus said, I give sure. unto you Amen. power Amen. to tread on serpents Amen. and scorpions. Amen. These may be literally uh, real scorpions and serpents, but even people that are serpents, yes. even people that are scorpions, yeah. they hide. They have a way of attacking. God is saying, you as my children, I give you power Amen. to tread over. Amen. Is that not what Joshua did? When eventually now those five kings were brought, oh, they, 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 they put them down on their neck. Yes. They put their feet. Amen. And that is where they belong. Amen. All those issues Amen. that are harassing us. All those problems Amen. that are causing issues. In the name of Jesus, Amen. they will be under our feet. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's part of what Jesus Christ was saying. I give unto you power yes. to yes. tread, yes. stamp yes. on serpents and scorpions yes. and over all the power yes. of the enemy. Yes. 
and nothing, nothing, nothing. I love that. Nothing. That's why I'm bold. By the special grace of God, I am bold. Amen. God's children should be bold. Amen. Because nothing, Amen. nothing, Amen. shall by any means, H U R T, cannot hurt you, Amen. cannot overpower you. Amen. And then in Acts 1 8, Jesus said, Ye shall receive power. Amen. After that, the Holy Ghost Amen. is come upon you. That power. Is what is available today. The power to go and see no more. The power to tread over the enemies. The power to live a Christian life. A victorious life. A life of victory. All the time. It does not mean that you cannot be sick. It doesn't mean that you may not, you won't lose your job. It doesn't mean that you will not be in a position of one need or the other. It doesn't mean that uh, people may misunderstand you and uh, uh, mistreat you and do many things to you. It doesn't mean that will not happen. But one thing is certain, you will have victory. Amen. You will have victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go back to our text. Uh, Joshua 10, verse 14. Joshua 10. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. Amen. What a day! Amen. What a memorable day! Amen. The 12th of May Amen. can be a memorable day. Amen. You can say, what a day! Amen. A day that I told God that enough is enough. Yes. Even though I've been saying it, but on the 12th of May, Amen. I prayed SSS prayer with Joshua prayed and God did it for me. You can have a memorable day. You can have a special time that you can refer to and God can do that for every one of us. This is where we are going. Verse 24. And it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Joshua that Joshua called for all the men of Israel said unto the captains of the men of war which went with him come there put your feet Upon the necks of these kings. And they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage. For thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies. Don't think of anybody as your enemy. Leave that to God. The enemies I want us to focus here. That thing that is troubling you. That thing that doesn't want you to, to, to serve God. That thing that is making you live short of what the Lord wants you to be. That thing that is not making your consecration to go through. That thing that is not making you to pray through to genuine Christian experiences. That thing that is not allowing you to live a life of joy that salvation brings. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever those things are, today Amen. they can be under your feet. Amen. And that is where they belong. The word of God says that sin shall not have dominion. Amen. We not reign. Amen. We not reign over you. You are going to be reigning over it. Amen. I like the word from time to time. I say that sin will say, do me. Do you. Well, you can say, do me. You can talk, but you are under. Amen. I'm on top. Amen. Stop. Amen. Touch me. Feel me. Say me. Behave me. You are under. Amen. And I'm on top. Amen. And you are talking. I have the right to say, shut up. Yes. Yes. I use my feet because yes. we are under. Amen. God can put all our enemies Amen. under our feet. Amen. Do you have one? Do you think of anything that is not making you live an abundant life that Christ is offering? You can pray SSS yes. prayer. Yes. The Lord can give you complete victory yes. today. Yes. You can have the same testimony that what a day. What a memorable day. Something happened that has never happened to me before. I'm inviting you. God who has all the powers on earth and in heaven is here. He will answer your prayers. He will give you peace. He will give you rest. He will put all your enemies under your feet. In the name of Jesus, he's able to do that for you. Only if you want him to do it, he will do it for you. As we sing the closing song, 704.
victory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. As we gave Joshua and Israel victory, give us victory today Amen. over those individual and um, family and church battles, those issues and problems, oh Lord God, that we have been talking to you about. Lord, give us victory today. Amen. As we cry out loud unto you, O oh Lord, answer our prayers. Save us today, O oh Lord. Sanctify. Baptize with Holy Ghost and fire. Give us complete victory and be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Amen.